Hi guys, in this tutorial I would like to show you how you can get rid of system compatibility report in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. If you upgraded your Premiere Pro to 2020 version, you may encounter this problem because of the unsupported video driver of your computer. Although Adobe shows how you can solve this problem, but like in my case, you may still have this report in the opening of Premiere Pro no matter what you do. If you are working Premiere Pro every day, this report becomes very disturbing after a while. As you see in the screen, this video also shows how you can apply Adobe's solution. That is pretty straightforward and easy to apply. Except for the users who can solve their problem with Adobe's solution. In fact, there are two kinds of users that still encounter this problem. First group is the one that I am included. This group has no problem working with Premiere Pro. Everything works fine, the only problem is having this report in the opening. This video shows how to get rid of that warning. Second group unfortunately has problem with working Premiere Pro 2020 version. Their video cards do not meet the minimum requirements, so they should change their video cards to work with Premiere Pro. Let's start to get rid of this system compatibility report. First, when you get this message, click continue with known issues and wait for Premiere Pro to load. Except for this report, you don't get any error messages during loading. As mentioned earlier, there is no problem with the performance of Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. After finishing loading, open any project in Premiere Pro. As you see in the left top corner, we still have the system issues found warning. Close this window and press Ctrl F12 at the same time. In the opened window, press the icon which is at the left top and next to console, choose Debug Database View. Now go to search bar and type Report Enable. As you see, Report Enable is active, so we need to deactivate it. To do that, remove the check in the square. After that, True becomes False. Close the window and then close Premiere Pro. When you restart the program, you won't get any warning anymore. Please don't forget to press like button and subscribe to our channel.